All right, John, here we go. Our main event and our welterweight title fight, Micah Terrell taking on Cole Presley. What isn't there to say about this battle? Yeah, Nick, this should be a very exciting fight. You got Micah Terrell out of Conquest BJJ, and we have Cole Presley coming out of Clinch Academy. Cole's one of my favorite guys to watch inside the Shogun cage. Guys, always in exciting fights, always. Micah, exciting knockout artist. Cole's a guy who always comes forward, so that should be a nice recipe for excitement tonight. You know, John, this is one of those fights that was just too good to be true when you saw it on the card. These guys both go for broke, and they both think they're going to win in their hearts. So it's going to be an incredible matchup. Yeah, Cole does not move backwards. Ladies and gentlemen, at this time, we introduce to you fighting out of the blue corner, standing six feet tall and weighing in at 170 pounds. Representing the Clinch Academy out of Frederick, Maryland, please welcome Stone Cole Presley. And his opponent fighting out of the red corner. He stands six feet tall and weighed in at 170 pounds. Representing BJJ Conquest out of Crofton, Maryland. Make some noise for Micah C. B. Terra. Your referee in charge of the action is Kevin Mulhall. Okay, you've both been given your rules. Okay, obey my commands at all times. Defend yourself at all times. You want to touch gloves, do it now. When the bell rings, come out, fight. And a touch to get us going to our main event this evening with Micah Terrell and Cole Presley. Oh, nice, nice jab. Micah finding early success with that jab, and he may have split Cole with that first yeah, punch. It's a nice stiff jab, too, man. He's not a, it's not a little pit pat. No, no, that's a very stiff jab, and I, I think Cole's bleeding already from that early jab. Oh, and, yeah, yeah, he is. There it is. Cole, the blood and guts warrior of Shogun fights, is already living up to his name as Cole might have had his nose broken with that first uh, jab or two that Micah threw. Yeah, I'm waiting to see how the uh, the, the, the come up and wait affects Cole at all as yeah. well. You know, Cole's fought all his fights here at 155. Yep. Uh, he came up at 170 for a shot at the title, and he came up fighting a, a, a tough opponent here who you see is a dynamic striker. Yeah, and, and you know, John, Cole Presley's one of these guys uh, like a Rob Sullivan, a guy who he's not here for easy fights. He's here to fight the best guys we can put him against. And Cole was asking for this fight, even though Micah is one of the more accomplished Shogun winners and a weight class up from where he usually competes. Yeah, it's a tough fight for him. I really believe that, you know, athletically and striking-wise, Micah has the advantage. But I yeah. believe jujitsu-wise, I believe that Cole has the advantage. So it's really going to be one of those things, again, where if, if Micah can keep this fight standing, I think he has an advantage here. Sure, and you know, and there are unknowns about both of these guys. You know, obviously we don't know how Cole is going to kind of respond to these strikes from a great precision striker at a bigger weight like Micah. But then again, Cole's a guy who's, who's been a grinder, and he's had three-round wars. We've never seen Micah in one of those, and we don't know how he's going to respond to that kind of pressure going into a second or a third round. I mean, I can't remember, I, maybe from the second loss here at Shogun, when the last time Micah saw the second round was. Yeah, I mean, Micah's really been putting everybody away yeah. early. Oh, yeah. Cole, we know he's battle-tested. He's been through wars. Uh, he had he was in one of the bloodiest fights Jeez. in our history when he fought Brian Van Hoven. Oh yeah, so, and uh, uh, this nice. is looking to maybe top that early. Yeah, I think uh, uh, the, it's Jesus. getting a little slippery in there because Cole's leaving him parts oh, yeah. of himself all over the cage. Oh yeah, if Cole's face is a pinata, this party would have been over around two minutes ago. But he is still coming out, and this is looking to be a bloody fight early. Yeah, I always tell people, he's like the Terminator, man. This kid just takes a beating and just keeps coming, keeps coming. So yeah. always, always in exciting fights, and this one's shaping up to be very, very much the same. Another exciting fight. I would go as far to say is that the Terminator had a post of Cole Presley in his bedroom growing <laughs> up. I mean, Cole Presley, and look at him. He's not backing down. He's not, like, shirking away from these strikes, and now he's looking to respond a little bit. Nice. With a takedown here. Nice. Micah is going to get yeah, a nice a good, overhook good on level that. level change and everything, but Micah did his job, man. He uh, caught himself before he hit the floor, posted, and, and stayed up, and now he's uh, reversed it. This is exciting. Micah, I mean, if you could sum up Micah in a word, confident is one of them. Uh, and he was so confident about this game plan 
to stand and strike with Cole Presley. And now you see why. I mean, he's making his way through Cole's defense in a really sound capacity. And obviously the amount of blood on Cole and Micah is a testament to his yeah, success Yeah, that was there. nice right there. You know, Cole had him up against the fence, went to hit something. As soon as he started, wow. Micah rolled out and... Uh, you know, circled away and got out of harm's way. So. And, and that right hand that Micah throws is tricky because he throws his shoulder and elbow like it's a hook and then throws it right down the pipe. And I think that's why it's landing so successfully. Yeah, I, he's, I mean, he's, I mean, it's, it, the other thing too, a lot of guys spar with the big gloves on, you know, a lot of people yep. do. Yep. And uh, you get used to being able to defend with that classic defense with those big gloves on. And then when oh, you yeah. put the, uh, the little gloves on, yep. instead of your instead of blocking those punches, they seem to come straight down the middle. Oh, absolutely, which is why I always like sparring in those carnival gloves. In fact, John, I've told you repeatedly, if you could find <laughs> me a carnival glove fight here at Shogun, I would take it, but you still uh, maintain that that's not allowed. And we're gonna go back to this. Micah is really precisely busting up Cole at this point, and Cole is yet to, aside from bleeding uh, successfully, has yet to be phased by any of these strikes. Yeah, I haven't seen him get uh, wobbled. We haven't seen him uh, hurt, you know, physically, other than the, uh, you know, the bloody nose at this point. Yeah, yeah. He but uh, <laughs> it's obviously a little bit of blood on the mat, on him, on yeah. Micah. There's a, yeah. a nice amount of blood, so I'm agreeing with your earlier assessment. That nose is probably broken. Yeah, he, ha he has a bloody nose the same way that you have a few tattoos, John. <laughs> this passed the bloody nose a couple rounds back. <laughs> And now we're going to look to close out this first round. I mean, I think it's safe to say that Mike is going to take this first frame. Yeah, very, uh, I mean, impressive performance so far. He hasn't really taken any real damage. No. And, uh, I mean, he's inflicted all the damage. Very, very high punch percentage uh, he's landing. All right, so I, I think after this first five minutes, we've learned something about both fighters. Number one, Micah is gonna be successful in touching Cole up, reaching him, landing punches squarely on his face, as we see wow. here with a couple really stiff jabs, a la uh, George St. Pierre, Josh Koscheck too. Uh, but the other thing we learned is that Cole Presley's not scared of getting bloody. He's not scared of those punches. And now the second and possibly third round, we're really gonna get to see what's gonna happen now that both guys uh, have learned this about the other. No, I agree. You know, Micah showed his, uh, the, the advantage he has in the, in the hand speed and in, in his footwork. Uh, Cole is is eating everything though. He's not. He has showed no signs of him uh, being hurt. Oh yeah. Uh, he has. Micah hasn't really got his attention because, as you can see, Cole continues to come forward. So. So you're gonna call that a 10-9 for Micah then, John? Yeah, absolutely. All right. So there you go. You heard it from the Godfather of MMA himself. And we're gonna go into our second frame. Nice glove touch before they go to beat each other up again. Always fun. Yep. Mutual respect. I mean, that's the one thing. I mean, these two guys, they, they definitely talked a bunch about each other, but they certainly respect the other's abilities. And now Cole looking for a nice overhand. Yeah, we know Cole has one punch knockout power. I oh, mean, yeah. We've seen it. Now the question is, will it, uh, will it translate up to 170 the way it has at 155? Oh, yeah. Uh, we, against David Perez, I believe it was, where he had that great fast knockout. And, he, and he's looking for that overhand. And a nice left hook there lands for Cole. Cole's dropping his hands. He's inviting it at this point. Yeah, that was a nice inside leg kick. Yeah, well, Mike has got a real deep stance, and that's the danger of that, is that you provide that front inner thigh uh, without the ability to check it or pick it up quickly. And now Cole has the right hand. This is fantastic. Yeah, if Micah slows down, then you're fighting. Wow. Then you're fighting Cole's fight. You wow. Know what I mean? Oh, yeah. And so, you'll, and Mike, you'll, you know, Micah's advantage in the, in the, uh, in the, in the speed and the, and the footwork, he needs to continue just like he did in the first round. If he wants yep. to stand in front of Cole, yep. he's doing Cole a favor. And John, you'll also notice that as Micah backs straight up, he puts his chin up, which is dangerous against yeah. the guy who's throwing that overhand. Especially when them hands drop as you put that chin up. Yeah. You think you're out of range. We're all guilty of it, especially once you start to get fatigued. Yep. But uh, you really want to concentrate on keeping that chin down as you back out. Yep. Yep. Chin down. I try to teach young boxing kids to think about pinching a phone between your ear and your nice. shoulder, but no one knows what a home phone is anymore. So nice. that example's lost. Nice leg kick there. Wow, Cole did nice Cole teeth. Answers. This is fantastic. I can't believe we're getting lucky enough to watch this, yeah, John. I mean, these guys are just going one for one. Uh, this is great. But you know, when you, when you talk one. about how this could Number go, one. when you talk about how this fight could go, I think you'd agree that this is a best case scenario for the fans right now. Oh yeah. I mean, you can hear the crowd and. Uh, 
everybody loves an exciting fight. Everybody loves when two guys get in there and duke it out. And, oh, yeah. And these guys are really at this round's almost like I said, they're, uh, you know, Cole throws, Again. Micah throws. It's, yep. it, you know, each of them take turns. Cole, I mean, Mike is showing great takedown defense, man. Oh, yeah. And Cole's, that's the second time he's looked for that takedown. It's clear that his plan was to try to absorb some of this punishment and then take it to the ground. Uh, absorbing the punishment, we can, we can check that off the list. Uh, but the takedown is something he's yet to get. Yeah, the other thing that's impressive, and, and you have to think, will it become a factor as the fight goes later? Obviously, Cole can't breathe out of his nose. No. So, you know, how is this going to affect his wind? Uh, how much of this blood is he swallowing? Yeah. Um, you know, is this going to, is this as the fight wears on, it, you know, is it going to slow him down? Yeah, if you're just joining us, welcome back to World's Bloodiest Fight Videos. <laughs> Uh, this is starting to look like a Tarantino movie look in there. The, the tarp, man. The, the tarp is now pink. It's no longer white. It's unbelievable. And to think we're going to auction that off afterwards, some lucky kid's going to get to put that in their bedroom. Yep, and they will never clean it. And they will never sleep again. <laughs> <laughs> and Cole's continuing to land these punches on Micah now. Micah's got to keep these hands up, John. Yeah, Cole's landed at a much higher rate and, yeah. and a big part of a, a big woo. Slip. Slip. <laughs> The, oh. uh, uh, you know, the biggest thing is look how Micah now is just standing in, standing in front of Cole, which is yep. going to give Cole an easier yep. target. And I think Micah's still getting the better of him this round. I mean, Micah's still land. I mean, Cole's throwing big punches, and Micah's doing a good job of either blocking them or slipping them. So I think Micah's still going to take a connection percent. Ooh. Oh, it was a... It was a... Yeah, I'm not sure that pat on the back isn't yeah. more insulting. I think that was a little... I'm sorry about that. Yeah. He knew he hit him. Yep, and um, enjoy that. You know, but, uh, uh oh, yeah. man. Yep. I mean, he might have kicked him under the family jewels. Yeah. Wow. Oh, yeah, that's no man's land in there, John. That's nobody's friend. And Mike is going to let those come out of his stomach, and then yeah, we're going to get right, right back exactly. to work. What a great fight. I, I just can't get over what a great fight this is. This is exact. like, I, I remember months ago when this bout agreement got signed, you and I talked about, like, man, if this was a best-case scenario, <laughs> it would look like this. Yeah, right. Just fantastic. Both guys are, are in there, and this is something really special. Yeah, maybe that uh, little rest did Mike a little good because he seemed to come out with a little more pep in his step. Yeah, well... <laughs> Keep that hand up. Oh, Ooh. wow! Cole, the great... Yeah, that was nice. Oh, my gosh. And Micah not... I mean, not phased, but how yeah, many more of those can ate, you take? Yeah, Micah ate it. Cole really still looking for that front leg kick, but he's finding success when he throws the hands in combinations. Yeah, this round he's definitely picked up his. Uh, oh, another good right good hand. Gracious. He's definitely picked up his uh, landing percentage. And if you ask me, I think he's starting to gain a little more. Uh, oh yeah. Not that he needs it, but he's starting to pick up a little more confidence in his hands. He's actually getting busier. Yeah, and, and I still give Micah the edge this round, but Cole's gaining steam towards the end here. Yeah, so this is a, this round's a close round. Oh yeah, and you know uh, a lot of guys said Cole has a puncher's chance, but those chances look to get better every single time he lands one of those things. And now Mike is going to really to compose here. I'd like to see Mike go back to throwing that nice stiff jab from up high. Yeah. You see, he's kind of gunslinging it from his waist right now, and it's not landing as crisply. Yep. And I'd like to see him start putting his punches and kicks together a little bit more than kind of throwing them in these one and two piece combinations. Yeah, I really like to see him, you know, use those hands and and move. Hit Cole and move. Don't stand wow. in front of Cole and allow him to recuperate. And Terrell ends that round with a great yeah, Superman nice jab. Nice little uh, Superman punch there to add an exclamation point. I you, think that round is a little bit of a coin flip, but I'm yeah. gonna agree with you that uh that Micah had a slight edge in yeah. that uh in that round. You know, it's yeah. uh, it's probably it could go 10-9 either way, depending sure. on who who you're looking for here. I think they both uh, both of them answer to each other when the other one threw. Oh yeah. Uh, but I give a, a slight uh, a slight advantage to uh, to Micah in yeah. that round. And that 4-3 that we saw from Cole there was like nice. his big scoring combination of the round. But again, those big punches they look good to the fans. But when you look at him here in slow motion, Mike is the guy that was landing there. Uh, that being said, even though I think Micah took that round, I think that the momentum is rolling Cole's yeah, absolutely. way. Absolutely, that's that's what I'm seeing at the at the moment is. You know, as Cole starts to land, he's starting to get busier, and he's starting to land more. And, yep. Uh, a lot of respect. Go, man. These, these guys obviously respect each other. They, well, they know that they're knee deep in something really special, man. When two guys can share an expression of combat that is this incredible, I mean, uh, it's a special thing. And 
and Mike has got to look to get back to what he was doing initially. He's got to throw combinations, he's got to pick his hands up, and he's got to look to pick him apart. You're probably not going to knock Cole Presley out at this point, but you can beat him if you go back to that initial game plan. Yeah, he needs to get back to being elusive. He needs yep. to go, he needs to hit him, make his wow. shots count, and then circle away. Yep, and Cole Presley's got to look for a finish here. I mean, he's got to know in the back of his head that he's probably down two rounds to nothing. Best case scenario, they're split around a piece. Um, but again, all that blood is going to make it really hard for him to secure any kind of submission, which is one of the games that he likes to play. Yeah, I think for Cole, like at this point, I mean, he's been pressing forward the whole fight, but now oh, yeah. you have to start trying to take some chances because he needs to, he needs to cause some major damage. He needs yep. to drop Micah. You know, I, I right personally hand. think if possible, if he can't land the big one, he's going to need to take Micah down and hope, sure. to, hope to uh, finish it on the mat. We know so many times we've been in situations like this. Tough doesn't score points. Tough doesn't win fights. All tough does, it gets you in the door. Yeah. So you can take punches, you can walk forward, but at the end nice. of the day, you got to score, and Cole's got to start doing a better job of that, and he's got to start doing it soon. Nice head yeah, kick. Look from him. I mean, Micah looks good this round. You know, he's right now he's doing what he needs to do. He's he's picking uh, picking Cole apart. Yep. And to think we're gonna donate this all to the Red Cross at the end is a really nice touch. <laughs> this is this is unbelievable. Cole looks like he was painted red. Right. I mean, this is just an incredible fight. And the fact that he's still moving forward here, but Micah's got to stop with that. He's got to pick his hands up and he's got to start throwing punches again. He's trying to throw them in one punch combinations. No one likes a one piece. Everybody wants a family meal. <laughs> Mike has got to start putting these punches together in combinations and get back to what was scoring in points early. Yeah, and Cole, wow. er, er, that's what Cole needs to throw punches and bunches. Yep. I like that jab overhand. That's the one he's throwing. Oh, and again, and again. And Mike is, and Mike is hurt. Yeah, I think. I mean, that, that was a three piece on the chin. Oh yeah, and Mike is throwing two bands. Two more, another this one. Is, and now they're trading punches nice. in the third round. Man, this Ma is unbelievable. Yeah, Mike is showing a chin, man. Oh yeah, but I, but I think both these guys got wobbled in that last exchange. And Micah was on Bambi legs yeah. there for a second. But that was, uh, I mean, I like how he's rolling outside here. Again. Cole, Cole knows he's got to come. Cole knows he has the angle on that right hand, and he's setting it up with that hook and then throwing it over the top Bye. again. Another big right hand. This is, left. And now Cole's stalking Micah. Yeah, for sure. This is a totally, this is, this is the first round now in reverse. Cole's landing, Micah's backpedaling and can't seem to find an answer. Yeah, Micah needs to, to do what he was doing, and that's keep circling away. Uh, from Cole. A great hook and Micah's hurt again! I, John, I think Micah thought he had this in the bag. And Cole's now putting on, and Micah looks for Jake down. Oh, Wait, right Cole's under the net! Guillotine. Cole's got a guillotine! Right into the Cole's guillotine, Cole's got a guillotine! Man. This could be unbelievable! And oh, Micah taps! Tapping. Micah taps! Holy heck. John, Cole that, Presley. one of the most impressive fights we have ever seen here at Shogun. <laughs> the Terminator. Cole, Cole Presley again. comes back from the dead.